What's going on everybody? It's the Bourbon Hunter. We're here in Easley next to the Swamp Rabbit Trail and I got a partner today. What's up? We're gonna go check out some liquor stores and see what we can find. Ryan, what are you looking for today? Um, really love to find a bottle of Eagle Rare for a decent price. But what's your what's your budget on that? Uh, probably no more than 50. Okay. Uh, I found it for 60, but not willing to yeah. uh, to give in quite yet, so. Not going full tater mode yet. Let's see what no. this store has. So honestly, this is the most Buffalo Trace I've seen just sitting on the store shelf in South Carolina, just hanging out. I mean, for honestly a very reasonable price for what most of them go for. The Storyteller was last year's. I do think the new one's coming out soon though. Got an Eagle Rare. Hmm. It's nice to find at least shelf avail availability. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's for sure. A lot of this stuff, especially in this part of town, you know, probably backdoor special. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You know, you gotta know Jimbo, and Jimbo's gonna help you out. <laughs> yeah. This is probably the best price in the entire state on Woodford Double Oak. Fifty-one dollars is insane, dude. That's a that's a good uh, good bottle to pick out too. Fifty-nine ninety-nine is normally what it's sitting on the shelf at. That's that's really cool. The new Traveler. I mean, you said you hadn't tried it yet. No. I tried it. Um. I haven't I haven't tried it for that specific reason was I had heard I would say mixed reviews but most of them are bad so yeah it's it's just not for me man um, and a lot of people claim that it's blended with Canadians so if if that was a 15 20 dollar price point I'd get it just to try it but right. at 50 dollars that's a that's a big gamble for a lot of people to not like it and there's even rumors that Chris Stapleton is in like AA or is not drinking or something so who knows who actually was involved with the with the blending process of this, but I can now say Traveler steer clear of it. McKenna, you love I absolutely loved my bottle. I don't know how I, well, the only reason I still have it is because I don't want to pay for another bottle. <laughs> <laughs> but it's good, It's right? worth the price, but. It's worth every dollar? Mm -hmm. Okay. I haven't had one in a long time. I may need to pick one up at some point. $36 for a bottle of Woodford and this really nice looking Woodford glass actually. Hey, that's actually a really good deal. <laughs> <laughs> you get, that's, that's a 750 milliliter? Yeah. How much is a regular bottle of Woodford? I feel like they're right around that price. You get um, a nice glass with it too. Hmm. Bottled and bond here um, for a $20 bottle. That's a, I'll, I'll sip on that any day. It's a, I, I like uh, looking for low-end stuff that drinks at a little bit higher price point and that's that, that's your kind of that's one of them yeah that's yeah. that's one that i'll grab uh, when it runs out i also got the kentucky derby edition for the same price all right that was a really cool store actually uh you never know just looking at the outside of stores like this like never judge a book by its cover can't pass it by without at least looking inside So we got this entire shelf right here. Calumets and the Bookers from last year. Pendleton whiskey. And I will say some of these prices are a little, a little out of touch. Am I so out of touch? Especially that one and that one. But it's the Mictor's 10 year rye, the Weller. And I don't know anything about these though. These look really different and super like interesting. Prime Selection, Sweet Treat, B522. Oh my God, dude. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. $3.99 for Gatsby, Sweetens Cove, Blue Run. Yeah, I mean, some of these are tough to swallow for sure. That's what she said. Another good one. You're on fire. Compared to some of the other places around here. But they got good looking store picks. I will say, I do know some people that would probably come and buy a stag for $159. I do know some people that would probably do that. And Three Chord, don't know anything about that brand, but you also got a sweet wheat here for $129. I've had it, it's definitely not worth that price, but if you've been looking for it, here it is. All the bars, towns and stuff. Pretty much all the normal stuff that you can think of, but they got, they got three stags back there. 1792 foolproof pick from JP Spirits. Now this is a really good bottle. Super hard to find. I wonder what their single barrel tastes like. 
You got plenty of them too. Two grand, and then Jack Daniels, 10 year Tennessee whiskey. All of these as well. This is this is a unicorn of all unicorns. Unfortunately, it's it's a little expensive for me, but I feel like every store has yeah. a has a Yellowstone, a Rebel, and a Knob Creek pick. <laughs> I'm done. On my way to the beach because it's 82 degrees and sunny in Charleston, and I walk into the store to grab some high noons. And look at this crap. I don't know if I can leave these here. I think I have to buy both of them. Oh, dude. Why are they for such a good price, too? I wasn't going to spend any money today, guys. All right. All right, we're back at Southern Spirits. We're going to check out. Honestly, this is quite impressive. Uh, but I don't know how they're going to release that. But this is the Heritage Parker's freaking rye, the 10 year. So we're going to try it. I think, what was my number again? I, I, okay, I think I knew it. No, obviously not, no. <laughs> All right, looks like it's your turn. <laughs> Come on. Oh, boo. I'm, I'm gonna start an online forum where people can post the codes that have been tried. <laughs> <laughs> they got some James E. Pepper here. These are starting to get extremely popular. The Decanter series for 70 bucks. Oh, I guess he's gonna get one. <laughs> I might have to get one too, just to, just to say I have one. I heard they've, they've gotten great reviews, so honestly, why not? But we're gonna do something cool here in just a minute. I'll come back and get this on the way out. Welcome back to uh, World's Second Best Liquor Store, Southern Spirits. We have a uh, YouTuber sensation, Bourbon Hunter here, and he's about to play the five second game. So Hunter, you have five seconds to grab any one bottle. Mm. Whatever bottle you grab, you do have the right to purchase. Great. Uh, let me grab my timer. You know, I got a little bit of experience looking at bottles, so we'll see how well this goes. No promises. All right, <laughs> so five seconds on, and then as soon as you open the door, timer will start. All right. You ready, man? Yep, ready. Three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Whoa. No way. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. There's a little collage video, so I appreciate it. But we're not done yet. Next week, we're going to Maryland. We left Southern Spirits with a little uh, James E. Pepper. So really excited to actually try this. Great reviews, the Canner series. So can't be happier than that, guys. Check out the Discord, check out the Patreon. We got a lot of cool things. Trying to get 800 members in the Discord, so join. We'll see you next time. Bourbon Hunter, out.